What's up guys? It's me, your girl. Welcome back to Erin Builds. Um, it's been a while since I've been in the garage slash shop. Um, it's been really, really hot, but now the weather's turned a bit and it's actually kind of nice in here. So I decided to clean up a little bit. Um, and while I was doing that, I noticed that a bunch of my drill bits are missing. So I thought it might be um, just something interesting for you guys to learn a little bit about the different drill bits and the different drills that I have here. Um, so I'm going to just walk you through kind of how to put the drill bits in each individual one. Um, I've got a DeWalt here, super easy um, in and out. And then I have this right over here as well. That is just a matter of unscrewing the thing there. Um, I have a few other drill bits too. So let's have a look at what we've got and maybe you'll learn something new. All right guys, first thing I have here is my DeWalt cordless impact drill. I use this one primarily for just removing and installing screws. I don't use this one for drilling the holes themselves. Um, this is the drill that I used to take my water ski apart back there. Um, it's super easy to get the drill bits out. Just slide this little piece up here. Um, it's got a hexagonal insert right there and that matches the backside of this drill bit here. Um, so my favorite thing about this one is that I can take the drill bit out. So I've got a Phillips head in there right now. Um, and you can get these little drill bit um, packs. They also make these, I mean, you can use them in a screwdriver too, just come out pretty easily. Um, they're magnetic. So I like this one because it's really easy to use. Uh, it's easy to change out the bits and it's super easy to put these in. It doesn't require any strength or skill. Um, yeah, so dual compact drill, four screwing. Like I said, this little piece here is really easy to trade out pieces if I'm, you know, working with different size screws, whatever I'm doing. This is definitely the easiest, um, most convenient drill that I have. The other cordless drill I have is the Ryobi. This is an 18 volt lithium battery. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than the other one. And the attachments come off a little bit different. So this one actually has a drill bit in it. Um, to take that off, I throw it in reverse and then I'm holding the front here. Um, and then as I, as I power it, um, this little clamp in here loosens up a bit. I'm not sure if you can see that, but well, so you can see it opening and closing there. Um, and yeah, so when you do it forwards, as in you're drilling, that's when it clamps. Backwards is when it unclamps. Um, this is the one I use for drilling. I think I used this one um, to put that doggy door in last week. It's still got the drill bit in it that I used. Um, so next I'm gonna show you guys the different drill bits you can get. Um, they all do different things rather than the screw bits. Um, this is actually for making the holes. So let's see what's next. I've got my little shop dog out here. Hey you girl. Come here hot dog, come to say hi. She doesn't leave me alone, so everywhere I go, she goes. Isn't that right, Mimi Kim? Can I say hi? Be careful! Be careful! <laughs> Should we tell them? Should we tell them about the drill bits? Yeah, probably. So, the bits that I've got are masonry specific so concrete and brick um, I've got a kit here that is metal wood and PVC um, obviously better all-round ones and then I've got another one over here that's specifically for wood um, I've got three different bits here um, you wouldn't really think that they'd have to be too different to do each material but um, We'll have a look up close and you'll see the difference, especially between the masonry ones and these two other ones. Um, this one has quite a different design. Right, so I've got my three uh, drill bits lined up here. The first one is the masonry bit. Um, it's got the 
double point tip. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, if it's any good. It also has, I'm not sure what these grooves are called, but they're doubled up. So generally, as you can see on the others, there's just one, uh, one set of grooves. This one has two sets and one is more shallow than the other. You can see where they start right here, each of those. And um, this shallow one essentially runs along where these other ones don't have one. I'm not even sure what the purpose of those um, grooves are, you know, the difference, but I do know what they're for. So you can tell the difference between a masonry one, a masonry bit and any other bit essentially by the grooves that it's got and the tip. The second one I've got here is the multi-purpose one. This one goes through PVC, wood and metal. The grooves on this one are a fair bit deeper than the wood alone one and it's got quite a sharp tip on the end. Um, it's not very, very pointy, but you can see it here that it has, um, it's not blunt or by any means. So this one's multi-purpose tool. This one here is wood specific. Um, you can see, maybe you can and maybe you can't, I don't know. Uh, these grooves are a little bit more shallow. It's not quite as long um, of a tip there. You can see that the multi-purpose one is obviously meant for uh, deeper penetration. <laughs> so these are the three that I keep around the shop for just in case. Obviously the multi-purpose one is the you know more valuable one to have uh, for day-to-day -day projects. The others are just handy to have for in case. So I'll do a quick demonstration, just, uh, I mean, using the drill, super easy. I'm gonna use my quick grip clamp. So I'll use, I'm gonna use the multi-purpose one first, put it in there, make sure it goes in regular, so grip it shut, it's ready to go. Apply firmish pressure. And then to pull it out, I throw it in reverse. Just to make sure. Let's try the wood one. Oh, they both seem to do the same, the same job. So I'm gonna do a test of the other one here, it's not meant for wood. I'm curious to find out why. That took quite a bit more effort than the others did. I'm gonna take you to have a look at this. As you can see, this hole here was the multi-purpose one. This hole was the regular wood one and this hole was the masonry one. Um, it's got this odd circle around it. Uh, it took quite a bit more effort to drill through, um, but it did actually feel like it went through a little bit smoother, so. Still not 100% sure about the purpose of the shapes and everything. Obviously they have a, a reason. I just know which ones to use and which ones not to use, but. So that's all I've got for you this week, guys. Looks like I'm gonna get back to cleaning out the, uh, the shop here. Got distracted with the drill set, but that's okay. So come back next week and see what more fun things we're doing here at Erin Builds.